Hi, this is Kim with KimLim.com. I'm so glad that you're here. As you look back in your life, do you notice the pattern of your body weight? Do you tend to reach out for food when you're upset? Or do you forget about eating? Do you have friends around you who can eat like a horse without putting on an ounce of weight? Meanwhile, there are others who eat like a bird and yet couldn't get their weight under control. So which one's you? So different people react to different food differently. According to Ayurveda, there are three body types or doshas, namely vata, pitta, and kapha. So vata is a naturally thin built and it's hard for them to gain weight. Even when they gain weight, it's kind of unnatural. It's like the excess weight is going to be hanging off the body, sticking up from the belly. And pita is the medium-built ones, and they are easier to gain weight as well as losing weight. They have the strongest digestive fire, and they have the biggest appetite as well, and they think they can eat anything. Yes, they can eat anything when they are young, and the common problem with pitas are they, they always want to eat more and more even as they age because we get our body become more and more efficient as we age we will need less food to sustain but Peter didn't know that so this is how they gain weight kapha is the strongest or i should say is the largest build of all they are denser and it's a lot harder for kaphas to lose weight their metabolism is slower and they usually crave for sweets which will aggravate kaphas even more. And kapha would have to move a lot in order for them to digest the food better. So when there's imbalance in doshas, we'll experience symptoms like heartburn, acid reflux, diarrhea, bloatedness, heart palpitation, and this discomfort could happen in different parts of a GI tract depending on the body type. For example, for kapha, this toxin will accumulate in the stomach area. For pita, it's in intestine, and for vata, it's in colon. So if this is you, you want to pay, you want to pay close attention because this toxin accumulation in the digestive tract is the first stage of disease, according to Ayurveda's six stages of disease. Why does this happen? Because we are constantly eating. We have meal stacking, or we call it snacking, or constant grazing, right? Even though if we're snacking healthy, it's not good because then the body has to keep on digesting the food at different stages and there's not enough energy to do that. This is when the body creates toxin. In order to avoid that, we need to do meal spacing while allowing the body at least 12 hours of rest on daily basis and no snacking in between meals. Because when that happens, our body will be able to metabolize on fat and releases all the toxin. So intermittent fasting has been proven to be a way of eating according to Ayurveda as well as the yoga philosophy. You can read more about my intermittent fasting personal experience on how I've lost weight. So you can go to kimlin.com forward slash blog and look for the articles on intermittent fasting. I used to think weight gain is a natural process of aging and perimenopause. At the age of 51 plus, I have never felt this amazing in my own body. I would like to invite you to join me for the free five-day transformation challenge for women where you're going to learn about your body type and how to eat according to your body type and most importantly how to have a radiant longevity so please follow the link to register 
and I look forward to sharing our experience together.